All right, because you asked for it, which means you've been quarantined for too long. Uh, this, <laughs> this is, uh, I'm looking at John Dukash. It looks like a, it looks like, it looks like an animated cartoon image. Of uh -huh. crime boss. Yeah, whatever you're saying, Terry. People are coming out different ways, eh? Uh, I'm Steve Cochran. That's John DeCoss. Who are you, by the way? I'm Tim Banker. And uh, we do stand-up comedy together. Um, we used to do a radio show together. That's a long story. Um, and uh, uh, this is called Three Friends Wasting Time Together During the Quarantine. Let's talk about that. Well, technically, we've already done that. <laughs> yeah, we wasted about an hour just trying to get this thing set up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve, much like the celebrities on television, I'm standing in front of my bookcase with all the books I've read. I see that. <laughs> Congratulations. You finished them all? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it looks like, like the Raffi and the Raffi and the Honky Beast is on the floor here somewhere. John, I can't quite tell. What's behind you and your image? Me? <laughs> what an egomaniac. Look at that. Yeah, see? It's a picture of me, see? What do you say? You don't like it? You don't like it, huh? At the end of my story, the picture comes alive and eats the real John. Yes. What? Actually, actually, my picture, my image in Zoom looks a little more tasteful in regards to the mental home that Tim and I are both in. It's like I have my walls. <laughs> <laughs> my wife recreated a prison for me. She really did. She did. I'm still in the all white room. How have you guys been holding up? Tim, how are you holding up during all this? Oh, we're doing fine. You know what? You know, this is nothing. My wife has always had a six-foot rule um, right. after 24 years of marriage. So she just doubled it to 12 since, right. you know, this whole thing started. So you, uh, yeah. the only one touching you is you? <laughs> same old, same old. John, yeah. you, have this new, you have this big, new, beautiful house. Uh, you seem to be in the basement of it in your man cave office. Um, are you allowed to go upstairs? No. no, I have, I have not. I haven't even seen me upstairs. I haven't even seen me upstairs. Bad part is I now have mouth cancer. I've smoked so many cigars since I've been. I think that is the medical term for it. Is that, I think it is mouth cancer. I'm very technical. I'm a tremendous physician. John, why don't you show us around your office, if you don't mind? What, what does it look oh, like? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that, oh, what is that? Oh, that's my, uh, what is that? That's a oh, corner with a filing going, cabinet? That's one of my filing cabinets. There's another one. Right. There's the door to the outside. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I see humans. <laughs> uh, and then there's uh, that's my zany sign mm -hmm. that was given to me. And then there's uh, that's the couch I have to sleep on because I can't go upstairs. Yeah, well, it looks comfortable. Um, did good. you notice, Tim, he said the zany sign that was given to me? Were we going to accuse yeah. him of stealing it? yeah. And it was given given to him by the wall at Zany's when no one else was there. Well, I didn't technically, yeah. I mean, they. I think they would have given it to me had I not stolen it. Sure, understandable. <laughs> now, um, you guys uh, have been on the road a lot more than I have because I was always able to hold a regular job. Uh, <laughs> and I lost it and then moved on to the next one until I lost it. But uh, stand-up comedy, uh, what's the status of that universe, John? Oh, it's, uh, I'm busier now doing nothing. But there are no shows, right? No, there aren't any shows. And uh, I lost two months. I lost, well, actually two and a half months because I lost most of April, uh, the rest of March. I lost April and May and I, I'm booked starting June, but we'll see what happens. We, I don't think we know. I don't think we know. And Tim, and I shouldn't have thrown lifestyle. you into the I shouldn't have thrown you into the shiftless lump because you actually own your own company outside of show business, and uh, so you have a job. Yes, it's import export. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the car the carpet cleaning business, but this whole staying at home thing really nurtures the comedian lifestyle. You get up when you want. You eat when you want, drink when you when you want. So that 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 part's good. And the silence, having no crowds, I'm accustomed to that. Well, the old lifestyle of a comedian, even a headliner, would be 23 hours and 15 minutes a day on your own, 45 yeah. minutes working. So now you got 24 hours on your own. Is it really a big change? For me, it is. I uh, that extra hour is uh, it has totally thrown me off. I uh, that's why the couch is in here. I'm, I'm getting help. Well, I have actually painted 
did anything that had a scuff or a mark on it in the house. That's all I need. Except the wall behind you. <laughs> Except the, that's right. No paint. That's just primer. It's just me and primer. Uh, uh, I have found personally, and thanks for asking, my family and I have gotten along better than ever. Um, I, I don't know if you guys could say the same. Not that we had problems before, but we've all gotten along very well. No one's been violent. Uh, everyone seems to love each other. Uh, we've actually put together puzzles. I, I um, still bicker with everyone in your family. I don't know what, how that. No, you've true. never gotten along with my family. But uh, how have you found this to be with your family? John? I, I haven't seen them. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm downstairs. Forgot we I covered think that. they're okay. I think that. Why do you think I smoke these? Because they make I think that's what's keeping them away. Yeah, yeah, I'm stuck in my basement. See, yeah. <laughs> You're thinking to come down here, have some fun, King. <laughs> Actually, no, I, 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 it's been fine. It's been fine. My mother-in-law's here, and she stays in the middle part of the house. My wife Jackie is on the third floor. Uh, I've got basically the lower level and the roof. <laughs> Are you up there much? A lot. A lot. It's the only way I get uh, I get some sun. Right. I, I thought the country would freak out more when this happened. Not that anybody could have predicted it would have happened, but everybody seems to be pretty calm about it. But are we are we are we about to go into complete civil unrest and violence? Well, have have you been online? Have you watched some of the updates, whether it be local or national? People are not calm. People are nuts. <laughs> but, the are, but they're not acting out. They're just they're just harming people in their own homes. Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean they're getting they're getting out the aggression with verbal abuse online. That's oh. that's seems to be the trend, at least from my point. I will I will agree with you, Steve. I did think I thought there would be more of an adjustment at this point. But it's it really it's just so strange. It's like we've just sort of accepted it and uh oh I'm going to Duel today. Let me grab my mask. You know, it's I don't even think about it anymore. So it is. I, don't know if I mentioned weird. this to you, but to me, it feels like colonoscopy prep that never actually ends with a procedure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to talk about comedy with this as well. This whole situation has made a lot of I'll call them new talents. Everybody had a toilet paper joke when this mm -hmm. first started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now everybody's joking about uh, the. Uh, what do you call it? The disinfectants and, you know, so everybody's got their shtick now. Everybody's gonna be doing five minutes when this is over. Well, we should mention that when we, as a, the, when we're recording this, it's the day after disinfectant day, okay. where President Trump yes. said to the doctors, wondering a lot, cause you know, everybody's got that voice in their head that tells them not to say the stupid thing they just thought of. And a lot of times it doesn't catch it, but most of the time it does. Trump, Trump never catches his. And he actually said out loud, since disinfectant works so good on uh, coronavirus, could we maybe inject that? <laughs> yes. And the people that make Lysol actually had to come out with a statement that said, don't uh, inhale or inject uh, 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 our, our product in any way, shape, or form. So can that's the president of the United States wondering aloud if we should inject Lysol. Can you imagine if he would have won? <laughs> well, that's scary. <laughs> Yeah. Steve, one of the lines that caught my ear was that he said, we can have light, bright light, and it can go through the skin or other ways. Thinking, well, how is he utilizing his flashlights during these quarantines? I know. I know. <clears throat> you know, actually, you know what I do to keep busy, Steve? No. This, I'll do, I'll do an impression. Sell. <laughs> can we get a shot of that phone that you have there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think, you know, for the kids that are looking in, I'm not quite sure they know what that is. The selfies come out black and white on that thing. <laughs> Hang on, I got, the, I got the Sentinel on. Hang on, Sentinel's on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, uh, I heard your agent's calling. <laughs> yes, my agent's calling to tell me I'm, I have an approach problem. The, um, <clears throat> the, the Trump thing uh, with the disinfectant. Is there a reason he's that orange uh, as well? I mean, look, if he's coming clean on, on everything he's talking about, maybe he's just been sitting on jars of Smucker's orange marmalade. Who knows? Actually, I think, and I, I, I may be wrong on this, but um, he also talked a couple of weeks ago about rubbing your entire head with Cheetos, that it would get rid of a lot of stuff. And uh, he was Good way ahead of, yeah. I Good for your he was ahead of the curve. It's been proven. 
Yeah. Yeah. So he's good. I would just like to see the B-roll of the doctors while he's talking. Well, they have a oh, they have a shot of Doctor Burks, the female doctor of the Burks. Uh, uh, doctor, uh, who's the tiny guy? Uh, Smoochie. Fauci. Uh, what's his name? Doctor Fauci? Doctor Tony Fauci. Fauci. <laughs> Smoochie. I've got nothing to remember, I... and I couldn't remember Fauci's name. That's rather frightening. Uh, I know. <laughs> I look forward to the full senility kicking in and you guys coming on. And I don't remember the last thing you said. Uh, so all right, Fauci and Burks, and they had a shot of Burks when Trump made those statements yesterday. And she looked like she was blinking out. Oh my God, help me. I'm a hostile. Yeah. I, know. I know. It's so bad. Uh, and by the way, uh, the drinking the Lysol doesn't work. I'm just letting you know that. You were, you were ahead of that curve. You've done that for years. I, God, forever. And I I switched over. The only thing I switched over was there was a what, linen fresh. I've been swallowing, doing linen fresh for the last four months. Just to just to break it up. Hang on, I've got Eisenhower's on the phone. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a question for you. Once this is over, because we're all sports guys, once this is over, what sport are you looking forward to seeing? First, for me, I'll lead off here. Golf's coming back in June. So that's good news for me. Golf on TV. You're finally going to be able to play golf in Illinois on uh, May 1st. So that's good news for me. But, Tim, what about you? What sport are you missing? Well, with golf, I always social distance with golf because I'm not within six yards <laughs> of anybody. Mm-hmm. 600 yards. I'm on six fair- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fairways away. That's that way. Well, I'm looking forward to baseball. I don't care if they play without crowds. Um, I don't know if you know this, they want to broadcast them at, at home. We can watch them at home, but no crowds. They still will charge you 12 bucks when you get up to get a beer out of the fridge. <laughs> so you'll be at your house, you get up to get a beer, and you have to send them $12? That's right. And then my wife yells down in front, you know, the whole, <laughs> trying to make it as real as possible. <laughs> sure, I understand. Hey, hey, Steve, hang on. I just got an update from the Bears. Okay. <laughs> They're, uh, oh, that's a good move. They're moving up in the second round to take Trubisky again. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world it's lost its freaking mind what's the first thing you're going to do when you don't have to wear a mask and you get to go somewhere anywhere you oh that's be. a good question i'm well, not I'm doing any more zooms I'm not doing any more zooms <laughs> no more i'm gonna zooms. have to stay, stop making obscene gestures with my tongue because it won't be hidden by the mask anymore Seriously, I think I think I'll go out to uh, the what? Sorry, sorry. Tim, have you been making obscene Zoom calls? Is that what's been happening? Well, with the mask on, yeah. <laughs> I know you're wearing a mask. What else are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I know we will go out to dinner. That'll be the first thing. I miss I miss going out to a nice restaurant. And I, I was talking to uh, Peter Greenberg, the travel expert for the uh, Live from My Office podcast. And he was talking about how everything's going to change. And the three big pieces of hospitality are your flying, your hotels, and, uh, and your restaurants. And he said the, 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 the expensive restaurants and the, and the fast food restaurants will be fine. It's the middle ones, your Applebee's, your chill, Chili's. Your, those are the guys in trouble because you can't put one table every 10 feet in those yeah. restaurants and pay the bills. Right. Yeah, and I good. also saw they, they, they had some renderings of what the airplanes are going to look like. And they have the seats staggered. So one is facing forward and the other one's facing rear. It's like your lips are like two feet closer together this way. I don't know how, what, they're, what, are the, what they're thinking. <laughs> oh, Hachu, <laughs> you just sneeze right in my face. We talked about this too, how Delta, I think it's Delta said, they will not book a middle seat going forward. Well, of course you won't because right now there's four people on the friggin' plane. So that's <laughs> yes. really nice of you to step up. <laughs> Hang on, I just got a call from Amelia Earhart. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Your directions. Now, how much of a Freddy cat are you boys? <laughs> directions. Would you guys fly right now? Would you get on an airplane? Well, sure. This is like flying after September 11th. It's going to yeah. be the safest and cleanest thing yeah. ever been. Yeah. Plus, you could open a yeah. window. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot in here? Or is it me? <laughs> oh. God. You know what this would be good for, though, and I hadn't thought about this till just now, 
You know, the one thing that makes me go completely lunar, lunar, loon, loony, uh, <laughs> is if somebody on an airplane tries to lean back, tries to lean back, oh, and I yeah. literally will hold their seat up until they turn around and I go, well, what did you think was going to happen? Yeah. What? <laughs> this will right. actually stop that because people aren't going to want to lean back and catch what you have. Right. I'll I think they should it. take out every other row. So you could, you could lean back as you put your legs straight up through the, through the sunroof of the plane if you want. Um, but no, not have, have a, enough space. <laughs> I, I think the only thing I'm, I'm not looking forward to is that you have to now wear clothes on the plane. Right. Right. You have to be dressed. And Long I, gone are the days where you can sit naked and make circles with your rear end. Hang on, William Howard Taft, I'd like to. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little concerned that neither one of you are wearing pants. <laughs> well, I, you didn't want to see the whole room, did you? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Steve? So did you, you did go golfing yesterday, correct? I drove to Iowa to play golf at Amana Colonies. Um, which is, I believe, where the original Amana uh, people made their first refrigerators out of wood. I think they cut the trees down and they whittled them and they made them that way. That's my theory. And little elves brought ice cubes into the hollowed out tree. Right. right. <laughs> but yeah, it's like three hours away. So I drove three hours to play golf and came back. And on the way back, Pritzker announced he was opening the golf course. But that's another week. So I feel like I did the right thing. Oh, you said it's a three-hour right. drive that took you about 45 minutes, right? Well, <laughs> when you get a late start, you got to make up time. Uh, for the people of Iowa wondering who is in the black Chevy Blazer <laughs> 140, I had a tea time. It was a blur. They did not see you. It was. That's one word for it. 